Adama, I liked how your movie invites viewers to reflect on how far people are willing to push themselves for power and success. You based the story on your 2018 short film, but how did you come up with the idea to make a mockumentary in the first place? Um, <laughs> that's a good question. I mean, we refer to it as a, like a faux documentary because yeah. the camera and ours is not like winky or like in on the joke. But um, I, I think a big part of it was like me wanting to get a lot of questions or a lot of answers to a lot of questions. And so I was like, a documentary is going to ask a lot of these questions or observe a lot of these like questionable moments. And we're also big fans of the form yeah. of like, of mockumentaries for sure um, and, and faux documentaries as well. Yeah. Adana, you produced a film that offers constructive criticism of religion without being too harsh on it at the same time. Do you believe there is a line that shouldn't be crossed when dealing with religion? I think it depends on who you are. I think we made this type of film because we definitely had a lot of questions, we definitely had a lot of critiques, but it's also part of us. Uh, we grew up in the church, specifically black megachurch Southern Baptist culture. Yeah. Um, and while there were, like I said, a lot that we have to critique of it, we definitely also still have a, a certain love for it. There are things about it that we still have reverence for. And so um, we we decided to toe that line, but I think it depends on the type of uh, filmmaker and the type of person that you are. I don't think anything's beyond critique at all. <laughs> The arc of uh, Regina Hall's character, Trinity, is all about forgiveness and recept, uh, redemption. Even though her husband isn't exactly a role model, let's put it like this. Uh, would you have forgiven Lee Curtis in Trinity's place? Me? No. Uh, not forgiven, but I also understand why she ends up where she ends up. Yeah, I, I understand too, but I would have taken him for all here. Yeah, well, yeah. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, what has been your experience with religion before Hunk for Jesus? Sorry, I I lost connection for her a bit before. Oh, no problem. Um, so our experience is we, we grew up in Atlanta um, and churches, everything there. Um, and we mm -hmm. grew up in the height of like the mega church culture, like in the early, the early aughts. And so um, our connection with it is that is is big churches, big black churches, um, it's a big part of the culture, big part of the culture. Um, but also, I think there were things about it um, that we didn't quite jive with from a very early age, yeah. um, and so we've been questioning the institution of it for a very long time. Just a quick one: Is there anything at all you'll bring from Hope for Jesus to the upcoming Mr. and Mrs. Smith series? <laughs> Uh, tone, tone, um, and weirdness. Weird, weird. Yeah, Smith is gonna be. It's, it's weird. It's weird. So. <laughs>